It's been one of the best, or actually probably the best thing in my high school career. So, uh, so all of us in the Whitney are all love art, all different types of art. And for me, and a lot, I know a lot of the other leaders, photography wasn't something that we knew much about, except for a few of us, like Ramsey, he's a pro. <laughs> um, and so this project was really not, for me, it wasn't about actually taking pictures as much as it was about talking to Fred, talking to um, the other leaders, and really about the process of being an artist and what that meant. Um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the behind the scenes um, process of the, how this came about. So in late February, we went to Bushwick and visited Fred's studio. And one of the things that I was really surprised about when I first went to the studio was how um, sort of not studio-like it was. Like, it was very clean and very white and, like, almost, like, we were all afraid to, like, mess it up. And one of the things that Fred said about that was that his experimentation happens in his head and that the process is just as important as the outcome. And so that's something that really stuck with me and stuck with all of us and inspired our work. So when we came back to the Whitney, we thought about what Fred said and also how, let me make sure I'm not saying the right thing. <laughs> we talked about what Fred said and also about how, what it was that we as students wanted to share with the world and also how we wanted to put our observers in a position where they're forced to think about something. That's what, something that Fred said when he was talking about his own work, and also definitely something that was part of his um, Peace Guarded View, which was talked about by Catherine, which was that, something that we looked at a lot and talked a lot about. And so, this, during this time, it was sort of the heat of the college process for all of us, and also just being a senior in high school, um, we were all struggling with this idea of how others see us, how we manipulate ourselves to be seen certain ways, um, and things like that. Mm -hmm. And so this was like a common bond between all of us, and I know that, and so immediately we were all um, sort of excited about this idea. Actually, Julia, came, Julia like shared the title in my as much as being seen because she had heard of it from this Beckett play. We are all like, yeah, that's perfect. And so that's how that happened. Um, <laughs> So for my pieces in particular, I sort of looked at, I approached the project by looking at what it was in our generation that, how, how our generation sort of used outside substances to distort the ways that they see themselves. So whether it's medicine or like looking in the mirror, this like sense of privacy. So I ended up choosing two pictures, one of Elizabeth, who's right there, um, looking at herself in the mirror, and the other of a toilet. Um, it was half like which aesthetically made the most sense, like which I thought looked the best, but also the fact that all of this, because I had learned so much by doing the process, it didn't really matter what I chose in the end, it was really about all the things leading up to it. And so yeah, that was my process, so you should feel free to talk to all the other leaders because they all looked at um, their pieces in very different ways and have a lot to say about that. So ask them questions. Um, I wanted to thank Lori Tish for having us here, and of course Fred and Adam and um, Catherine.